QPaint were uh, incredibly helpful right from the, the very beginning of the project. Uh, it, was, it was a huge project. There were two houses. Both of them were very large houses. Uh, so it was always going to be a very large project that uh, was initially beyond my capabilities to, to really handle. So the guys at QPaint, uh, Jeremy initially, and then uh, when the painters came on, on site, Steve, uh, really did make the whole project happen. It was certainly beyond my capabilities to even uh, uh, know where to start. So they were fantastic right from, right from the very beginning. So as the project came to an end, uh, the thing that became really obvious was the quality uh, of the job that was being done. Uh, up till that point I'd been focused on, can I get people in to do it? How long are they going to take? How much is it going to cost? And when you get towards the end of the project, you then start to shift your, your focus onto, well, how, how good is it looking? How good is the job? And I've done a little bit of painting. I know, uh, uh, I know enough to know that uh, I can't paint. I'm, I'm hopeless. Uh, and the guys at Q-Paint managed to get a, a beautiful gloss finish on, on all the, uh, the timber trim. In particular, I'd, I'd almost consider them to be a more, more artists and craftsmen rather than, uh, than simply tradesmen. When I uh, got possession of these, uh, these two houses, uh, it had been about 15 years since there had been any sort of maintenance done on the, uh, the properties and they were in a terrible state of disrepair. In fact, the real estate agent only half jokingly said when he first saw it, why don't we just bulldoze both the houses and sell it as a big empty vacant lot. So there really was a lot of work to do. And uh, this is where the paint uh, really became an issue very early because even after we had done a lot of the initial repair work, I repaired a lot of termite damage, some structural damage, a lot of external repairs. We'd already spent quite a lot of time and quite a lot of money, but nothing looked any different. It looked like nothing had been done. And that's when I realised that the paint really was the most important part of the project. That was my first big realisation. It was the most important part of the project. The second realisation was it was also going to be the most expensive part of the project. More than half of what we spent overall was in paint and uh, that was just purely because of the, uh, the size of the project and uh, the fact that we painted every surface uh, on both houses uh, from the roof right down to the, uh, the pavers were, were all painted inside and out. So working with uh, Q-Paint um, we could uh, get some, um, we were uh, assured that the project was going to be completed. Being such a huge a huge project. Um, I, I had to get multiple quotes, speak to multiple people and uh, another thing became obvious and that was that being such a big job we needed a big crew. We needed to be able to get enough people on site to get this job done in a reasonable period of time. So I spoke to any number of people who were prepared to take the project on but they were all talking about three, four, five, even six months to get the project completed. It was that big. The, uh, the guys at QPaint assured me that they could turn it around in somewhere between three to four weeks and they did meet that deadline. So that was a very important thing uh, to have discovered. Luckily, almost by accident, that the size of the company that you are having do your painting is important and QPaint certainly had the resources behind them to get done what we needed to get done. The next thing that they were very helpful in doing was uh, obviously, although believe it or not, it wasn't obvious to me at the time, was actually in choosing the colours. Uh, I had some ideas about how the houses should be refinished and they largely were almost put the houses back together the way that they were. And uh, I know uh, Jeremy from Q Paint uh, looked at me and went, mm, no, that's really not a good idea. And uh, offered to send down their, uh, their colour consultant uh, at, no, at, uh, at no charge. And she came down and did a fantastic job of uh, advising us on what colours uh, to, uh, to blend, when and where, and uh, we were more than happy uh, with, uh, with her choices. I don't think the, uh, the project would have come up anywhere near as, uh, as good uh, appearance-wise if it hadn't been for uh, the fact that uh, we put ourselves purely in the hands of Q-Paint to uh, largely even pick, pick the colours for the, the houses.